I'm 42 years old. I'm a Grab driver. Um, so I've been with Grab for almost four years now, and um, I'm also a freelance tourist guide. Being to start uh, driving for Grab, I actually am quite intrigued with the flexible time uh, and the incomes that. Uh, that I'm gonna make uh, and uh, I think it's a positive way in a way of making or earning um, for my family. I feel good actually, it gives me some uh, leverage and advantage as I'm also a freelance tourist guide where I can actually um, use it and use this uh, opportunity quite well actually. For me, um, when we greet or when I meet uh, the first timers who comes to Cebu, I would always uh, tell them stories about the uh, Kampuami, the Kampuami. Yes, in Cebu you can always have the halal one and also the non-halal one. Uh, I also um, introduce them to Cebu as we have the tallest building in uh, Cebu and every year annual event we would have um, international jumpers who would come over to Cebu and uh, jump uh, from San Yan Tower which is 136 uh, uh, meter above sea level so um, it's nice and, uh, and of course the, most of these uh, visitors we like them to try this uh, Don noodle or Miswa and uh, food I would say we have a lot of this halal food and uh, non-halal and of course most visitors must check out our night market it's varying with colors and so on and all the foods that are seen as a mom's made home cooked uh, meals yes you might see it there over there So for me, driving in the new norms, um, I would say uh, as a sole breadwinner for the family, I have to, uh, no choice um, to be afraid or not. Uh, I rather take my chances and earn for the family. Um, as what I understand, um, the virus actually contracted another person through touches uh, and, and uh, uh, you need to cover that, so you need to have an appropriate uh, distance to each other so you don't stand and talk face to face with them too near and so on. Less, uh, um, try not to touch uh, things that they touch. Or, so by understanding this, actually, um, you are educating yourself and after some time, the new norm is going to be your norm. That's the, the normal thing to do and uh, the best way is stay safe always and stay clean. Um, for, uh, I've been driving for uh, Grab for almost four years and I believe that there are a lot of changes um, in Cebu, especially when uh, it comes to ferrying the fer passengers, um, how passengers or how normal people actually commute. Uh, back in the days, you only used buses and uh, taxis, but now you have these uh, smartphones, you can actually book a ride from from point A to point B instantly and of course it's comf uh, comfortable, a comfortable ride and, and of course affordable. Uh, value for money, one thing is uh, where you have uh, different sets of uh, choices that you can actually choose. Either you want to choose the uh, conventional taxi or meter taxi or even uh, e-hailing where you actually use this uh, application, you download the application and then use it. So uh, paying could be very easy. Uh, it opens up to a lot of um, opportunities to local traders who actually accept Grab 
paste and so on in in their uh, outlets or in servers. So yeah, I think this is one of the major changes that you see. A lot of people are using this uh, particular uh, Grab Pay to pay uh, for their transportation daily or even uh, food nowadays. Um, for me, uh, Sarawak is beautiful. Uh, uh, we like to encourage a lot of people, uh, whether you are local or whether you are outsiders, to come and visit our country. And especially when you think about Cebu, Cebu is the gateway to your adventure. And uh, of course, um, by traveling with uh, Grab, uh, Grab car, you also help you move to one place to another place uh, much more safer, I mean efficient in a way of costing and uh, safety. See you in Sarawak. The pleasure is all ours. The memories are all yours. Goodbye.